Okay, y'all. I just got off the freeway on Avenue Presidio. And I don't even know for sure what's down this way. When I lived here, I was very familiar with the downtown area. But it has been... Let me see. My older son was about 14 years old. And he is... How old is, oh, he's 43 now. So, oh my word. Look at that, y'all. Can you see that? There's a big Starbucks right there. But I'm not stopping. Let's see. There used to be an awesome donut shop down here. Now, of course, I would know where the best donut shop is, but I believe if I take one of these little side streets, we'll go right down to the ocean. And we shall see. Oh, they're going to have a car show. I don't know when that's going to be. I'm not big on looking at cars at a car show. So I'm sure I'm going to skip that. Now, if this were Saturday instead of Thursday, there would be people everywhere like ants. It gets so busy down here. Now, the majority of people that live here um, live, they're seniors retired people, not seniors like me living on Social Security. We're talking about seniors that were smart, that had businesses and saved, or they had pensions, retirement funds, all of that stuff, y'all, of which I did not do. It's so dry, y'all. I'm telling you, we've not had any rain. It is it's sad. It's very sad to see everything that's not irrigated be brown and burned up. They have some of the cutest little houses down here, y'all. And you know I love them. Love houses. And they have a lot of apartments, too. Now, I could have been wrong about, you know, I don't know. I know right from left, pretty much, <laughs> most of the time. But now, north and south and east and west. Now, if I can see the ocean in front of me, then I know I'm facing west. Okay? So, um... I thought that I could see it, but I don't know if it was the ocean that I was looking at or just blue skies. Okay, y'all, I'm beginning to think it was blue skies. But anyway, oh, when I lived here, uh, my fourth, there it is. There's the ocean. My fourth husband and I were living in base housing. And I had left him and got a little apartment out here in San Clemente. And because um, we were living in base housing up on the north end of Camp Pendleton. And I was managing a little dental office for this female dentist. You know you're getting close to the beach, y'all, when you start seeing all these blue canopies and umbrellas. There's a big old long pier out there, y'all. I would never be able to walk all the way out there and back. They have some cute little shops. They've got some um, cute little... Um, cafes. I can smell the coffee, y'all. Go ahead, honey. You gotta go across the street. Okie dokie. All this traffic down here, y'all, is hard for vendors. There's Bear Coast 
coffee, there's Peer Market, there's, um, what else have we got going on? Beach ice cream and yogurt, Costantino's Pizza. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff down here, y'all. I'm going to get up here and turn around. You have to be so careful driving through here. Some children are not being held back by their parents, which disturbs me. But we'll go back and turn around so um, the camera will be hopefully in a better position to capture it. Y'all, I'll start this back up. Okay, I had to um, turn it off for a second. If I pause it, it only pauses it for a few seconds. So, um, that's why I didn't do that. But I'm hoping to give y'all a little bit better um, view of the ocean down here. I would never come up here on the weekend. Now, that's pay parking, y'all. That is so crazy. This water does not look very pretty today. Can y'all see? There's nobody behind me. Can y'all see? It looks kind of greenish. Pretty big waves. There are lots of people down there on the beach. Now, y'all, this weekend, starting tomorrow, it will get crazy. I mean crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy busy. You will not be able to find a place to park. Now, when we used to come down to the beach, I actually lived in a little apartment that was four blocks from the beach. And so, um, it wasn't a problem for my older son to um, take his boogie board and go down to the beach. Um, and back then, you know, I was young and I could run down there myself and do everything I wanted to do. No problemo. But people that lived uh, that in places that were not walking distance, they had to get up very early in the morning. We're talking 6, 6.30 to come down to the beach and be able to get a parking spot. And that's what people did. I mean, if you wanted to go to the beach for the day, you got your tail end up and you got your stuff together in your car, all your umbrellas and your water coolers and your, you know, uh, igloos with drinks and all your picnic stuff and your beach chairs and your kids and their sand toys. I mean, y'all, it was a big production. And then you take it all down to the beach and um, drag it all from the car down to the beach, get everything all set up. And lots of times, you know, it took two trips to get everything. And of course, you had to take a playpen with an umbrella for the baby if you had one. So, I mean, you know what, y'all? I would not do that again to save my life. My kids got to go, both of them, got to go to the beach as much as they wanted to. There's a little house up here. Well, it's not little. It's blue. And it's got the cutest little picket fence around it and a bunch of flowers. So pretty. And anyway, so, you know what, I, I just, oh, I guess really when I was young, it was, it was not a big deal because we went all the time. And it was really hard for me to let my older son go by himself, but he finally reached the age where, you know, when when you're 15 years old, 
16 years old, you don't want your mommy down at the beach watching you in the water. So I was always afraid for her. Him. I was afraid there might be a shark out there. I was afraid of the undertow, the strong waves. I was afraid of the boys not going out in twos and keeping an eye on each other. But I tell you what, you better believe that was a nice class B. Woo! Um, you better believe that I talked to him about that constantly. And I'm sure he got so sick and tired of listening to me. But you know what? I was a mom. And I had to talk to him about that stuff over and over. It's like when they start driving and you tell them, put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Be sure you put your seatbelt on. Oh my gosh, mothers have to be such nags. I mean, it'd be fine if you told your kids something one time and then you never saw them doing, you know, what they shouldn't be doing again. But it doesn't work that way. At least not with my kids. Oh, there's a little burger shop, all beachy. Y'all know I'm looking for that donut shop. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is not really downtown San Clemente or but you know what y'all things change so much. Um everything uh back then when I lived here. Now there's a Taco Bell up here. We didn't have a Taco Bell back then, I don't think. But there's so many businesses now and it just looks so commercial. I mean, the 7-Elevens and all the gas stations and all this stuff. It's just different than it used to be. I'd love to find a little... Um, I'm going to turn in right here. No, I'm not. Um, I'd like to find a little antique store. So, anyway, y'all... If I find something interesting, I'll make another little video. Bye, y'all.